Hey everyone, so I just upgraded my Sony Xperia X Compact to Android 7 Nougat and my iPhone has seen the iOS 10.2 so I wanted to speed test comparison between the two. So let's get started by powering both these phones on at the same time. Now unfortunately during the past year there really haven't been too many good small smartphones released. Uh, these are really two of the only ones out there. And even Sony with the X Compact, not really a flagship phone like they released in the past. Uh, so a bit different from the Z5 Compact or the Z3 Compact, for example. Uh, more of a mid-ranger this year, although still a very good phone. All right, so you see here the SE, first one to boot up. So yeah, the SE is a little bit more expensive. Uh, it does have better internals as the A9 chipset, uh, two gigabytes of RAM, so very similar specs to the 6S. The X Compact, by comparison, has a Snapdragon 650 and 3 bytes of RAM. Uh, so rather than opting for the Snapdragon 820 like the XE, the X Performance, uh, they went with the 650. All right, so make sure everything's closed out. Good on both. All right, guys, so I'm planning for the video, but first up, I'm going to open up some apps. So, down pronto. Now, since this is a game, you're going to notice very fast loading up on the iPhone. Uh, easily a lot faster on the SE. So, winning this first one pretty easily. Alright, let's check out some more apps. So, next up, CNN. And you see here, faster on the SE. NetApp, generally faster on Android. Uh, iFunny next. All right, so faster on the iPhone. YouTube. All right, so faster there on the Xperia. Just judge it by if all the images load up. All right, next up, calculator. Pretty close, I think maybe a little bit faster on the SC. Uh, clock. eBay. All right, so faster there. Well, in terms of fully loading up, I think it was faster on the X Compact. Uh, you see iPhone kind of brought up a former loading screen there at the beginning. But let me know in the comments. All right, next up, Ash Fallout 8. So another game here, this one you're going to see very easily won on the SE. Uh, so both these phones, pretty small screens for the X Compact, 4.6 inches for the SE 4. Um, very similar resolution, around 326 PPI for the SE. Uh, 319 for the X Compact, that's three, uh, 720, uh, 720p. Now yeah, you guys see here, much faster loading up on the SE. All right, let's check out a few more. Actually, let me just fully bring it up on the SC. All right, so we're gonna do some multitasking later, so just wind it up. Uh, next up is gonna be photos. So different photo apps here on the SC. Uh, it's using the default one on the iPhone, rather on the Xperia using Google Photos since I think that's a little bit more common. ESPN. So faster here on the SC. Settings. So yeah, guys, you know, with the majority of these apps, they are faster on the SC, but we're going to uh, move over some more stuff in a second. All right, into the benchmark. Now for the uh, Xperia here, you see this is a pretty big improvement over uh, Android Marshmallow. Uh, when I had it with Android Marshmallow, I got around 76,000, so about 5,000 difference here. So that's a solid score, although on the SC, you're going to see a better score here. All right, so 125,000 for the uh, SC. And just a look at the ranking. 
So you see pretty similar to the success. Again, very similar internals to that. All right, next up, um, we'll do camera speed. So in terms of camera, I do prefer the camera on the Xperia. Uh, let me just put this on similar resolution. All right, so I'm gonna do the maximum resolution for the Xperia 23 megapixels. Uh, for the iPhone SC, maximum is 12. Uh, just in terms of quality, I do prefer the X Compact. Uh, the camera on here is excellent. Same one used on the XZ. All right, so it's gonna see camera speed here. And I do some comparisons on my channel if you wanna check them out. And you see here the SE is faster taking pictures, uh, not surprising because the uh, X Compact about twice the megapixels. Front facing camera on the X Compact is five megapixels versus 1.2 on the SC. Uh, so both cameras I feel much improved on the X Compact. All right. Next up, we'll do Chrome. And it's going to clear the web history on both of these. All right, guys, just going to do a few websites here. Uh, first up, let's go to Box. All right, so pretty close there. Uh, kind of hard to tell you, they're loading up different parts at different time. All right, next up. Let's go to YouTube. YouTube.com. All right, so faster on the iPhone. All right, next up, let's do SNL. All right, so faster there on the X Compact. And then let's do one last one. Let's do, we'll do Sony.com. Actually, we'll do two more sites. We'll do Sony.com and Apple.com. All right, so fast there on the SE. And then last one, apple.com. All right, so I think, yeah, that one worked a little bit faster on the SE. Uh, so overall, it looks like the web browsing will be a little bit faster on the SE. Uh, next up, we're gonna do multitasking. All right, going back to the beginning. All right, very fast on both. CNN. iFunny. All right, so so far multitasking looks better on the iPhone. YouTube. Uh, we'll do just one last one. Let's do Asphalt 8. All right, yeah, so this one pretty clearly on the iPhone. Uh, I see on the Sony, it's restarting from the start. So yeah, guys, I mean, not really surprising. Uh, on the X Compact, do have certain advantages, although on the iPhone, um, does have better internal specs. Now the X Compact also cheaper, it costs around uh, 350 for the starting point. The SE starting at 400, but really you're gonna wanna pay 450. Uh, you're gonna wanna get the 64 gigabyte model. So uh, for the SE, 16 gigabyte for 400, 64 gigabyte is 450. 16, not nearly enough. X Compact, uh, 32 gigabytes micro SD card support, no micro SD card support on the SE. Um, in terms of other stuff, so battery life on the X Compact, 2700 capacity on the iPhone SE, 1624. Uh, they'll feel that the X Compact does have, or rather the SE, I think, does have better battery life despite the smaller battery. 
Um, the X Compact is stereo speakers, the iPhone is not. Both for fingerprint scanners, I'm going to get to in a second. On X Compact, you have USB Type C. On the iPhone, you have a lightning port. Uh, in terms of build quality, the iPhone, I think, a little bit better. So on the X Compact, kind of more plastic. On the iPhone, more metal. And last, we're going to look at the fingerprint scanner. Now, if you're in the United States, like me, uh, it's not enabled. You have to get like the UK firmware if you actually want to use it. All right, guys, so it just got the Sony Xperia X, which is very similar to the X Compact, has the exact same fingerprint scanner. Uh, the only difference is for the X Compact, they have the American version. So, again, the fingerprint scanner is not enabled here by default. Uh, you have to download the UK firmware if you want that. On the Sony Xperia X, they have the international version. So, again, same exact fingerprint scanner. So, should be interesting here. Uh, and on the X, it's located here on the side. On the iPhone SE, it's located right here. Um, I do like the SE position a little bit more, although on the X it's still way better than a lot of the phones that have them on the back. So still very accessible on both. All right, so testing out the speed here. All right, so it looks like the X is a little bit faster here. Yeah, but the iPhone SE does have that voting animation. All right, guys, so pretty interesting results here. The X Compact did win some areas. Uh, for the most part, I think the SE is a faster phone, though, won the majority of the tests. Um, but again, keep in mind that the X Compact is about $100 cheaper. Uh, and there are a lot of advantages, like you have micro SD card support, uh, the front and rear facing camera both better. And of course, if you, uh, also stereo speakers are better. Um, and of course, if you're an Android fan, you would prefer the X Compact. Uh, but the SE, an excellent phone, as you guys saw, very, very fast. Um, so even though it's almost a year old at this point, still a very reliable phone. Now, for both these phones, I do have a lot of comparisons versus other phones. You can check down my channel if you want. Um, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and like this in the future. And thanks again for watching.